So the last thing that I want to touch on is actually our realized cap hollow waves because that question we just answered before is, are people taking profits? The answer is yes, but we're then seeing that kind of buy the dip mentality step in. So the last question we want to ask is, who is actually taking those profits? Now, as we saw, all of those SOPA variants um, were essentially kind of telling us the same story. It's kind of everybody. Um, we could look into long-term holders, but I actually directed to the week on chain report. We cover a little bit more about that. The key thing I want to show you here in the realized cap hodl waves, this is a super powerful metric. I use this all the time. What I'm asking is, are people who've held their coins for a long time, those hodlers, are they the ones currently selling? Are they panicking? Are they taking profits? What, what's going on? Because really, they're the highest conviction holders. So this is a binary model in the sense that a coin can't be one week old and one year old. It's either older than one week or younger than one week, right? So it's a binary system. So the warmer colors down the bottom are what we're going to call hot coins. We're talking about coins that are less than 24 hours up to one week, right? We're talking about very, very recently moved coins. Now, actually, let's just hover over this legend line. This is a nice view. So in the event where you have a bull market, you can see here 2017, enormous uplift in coins younger than one week. 2021, we also have an enormous uplift in coins older, uh, younger than one week. So if you think about this from a binary system, to track the old money, you can actually track the youngest coins. If the youngest coins increase, they can only increase when people are selling old coins and revaluing them to the new price. It typically happens in bull markets. Now, if you look at our current chart, you can see that we really, in terms of the overall scope of things, there's a little bit of an uptick but it is still extremely low on a cyclical basis. We have not hit a point where those longer term investors are saying, yep, this is it, this is the top. And they start flooding the market with coins. We absolutely see that. Look at these massive uptrends and they can go for many, many months. We see these during bull markets. This is the period in time, typically after breaking the previous all time high, old coins flood back into the market. We've seen a little bit, but we haven't seen a lot. 